Hey, and welcome to another Untech video. Today, we're, we're going to go over a, a new program called Zap Info, which is actually just the rebranded web clip drop. Now, this is a little bit different than some of my other videos. This tool is not a free tool, uh, but is cheaply priced and keeps getting better on sort of a day-by-day -day basis and just might be one of those tools that you want to think about adding into your tech stack uh, because it makes your life really easy. So what does the tool do? Really simple. Uh, its, whole, its whole functionality is centered around taking information from one page or from one area and being able to extract it and then automate it into another area. So it acts as a bit of a, a scraping tool a bit of a data enrichment tool and it's actually functionality keeps improving on sort of a day-by-day -day basis this is definitely one you're gonna want to watch uh, so it, it, it's building out functionality uh, almost on a day-by-day -day basis and can now take information from a variety of different sites LinkedIn Facebook Stack Overflow uh, to name a couple of them github the list keeps going on and on and it actually is starting to build out where it can then drop that information into any one of the major ATSs, a CSV, a PDF. It actually has some really cool functionality uh, in being able to create a resume directly from someone's LinkedIn profile. Real impressive. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a demonstration of this tool as I, uh, I quite like it. So let's, uh, let's go over a kind of a, a scenario that you might be likely to find, right? So say you're, you're looking at conferences and you come across one that's well, ended, but uh, you know has a, a long list of potential speakers attached to it. We're going to use as a drum programmatic conference. That's just one that I came across that happens to be relevant to me. And as you see, there's a, a bunch of contacts associated with this. Now, you know, ZapInfo isn't a scraping tool, so we're going to use another tool to kind of get that data. Where you'll see it come in handy is in the manipulation of that data. So we're going to use a program that you've seen me use in a bunch of my other videos, which is Instant Data Scraper. Uh, so I'm going to click that, and as you see, Instant Data Scraper automatically figures out where everything is. Uh, as you see in this box over here, it's sort of automatically uh, been able to put their first name, their title, their company, and some other mumbo jumbo we don't really need. So in this case, we're not even gonna bother exporting this. We're just gonna highlight the boxes we need, which is gonna be name, title, and company. And I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of that. I'm just gonna copy that into my clipboard. Uh, and we're gonna use that as our data set for today's example. So what I'm gonna do is click on the Zap Info plugin right here. I'm gonna go to Clip Data. And in this case, since it's not mapped to every page on the internet, obviously, uh, we're going to bulk import these records. And instead of uploading a CSV, I'm simply going to paste the data that I got from Instant Data Scraper right in here. Uh, it doesn't have headers. I don't believe I scraped the header field. I did not. So we're going to tell it it uh, does not have headers. And we're going to click Continue. Real simple. It's now kind of selected the first line of data. And it's asking me, what does it map to? So you know the first one automatically uh, maps their name. So we're going we're gonna to find something that corresponds to that. And there should be a full name. Got it. This one maps the title. So we're going to go look to see if we can't pull the title. And of course, employer, or in this case, I believe it's listed as company. Done. We're going to click import. That's it. We're just going to sit back and let it do its thing. Now, as you see, it's actually going through each one of those that I just updated and is going to attempt to augment the data uh, or enrich it. It's going to look to see if it could find email addresses. It's going to look to see if it could match it with LinkedIn accounts. Um, really going to do everything. So as you see, it's kind of pulling up email addresses right here. Uh, what I've noticed is it's good at finding work email addresses. Doesn't quite have the personal email address aspect worked out, at least not to my understanding, at least not what I've seen so far. Um, so as we're going down here, kind of get a sense, listen, it's got a good portion of them automatically without us having to do anything. Uh, and if we look into each one of these individual records by clicking the view details, you could see that it's, uh, here's the information we imported. In this case, it got the LinkedIn. Let's check another one out. 
This one, very interesting, it not only got the LinkedIn, but it's automatically then gone in and scraped some of those details from the LinkedIn. Now, the information it's scraping from LinkedIn is from your typical X-ray LinkedIn search. So it's not, not detailed right now. However, they do have a function that will let you go in and then scrape those individual LinkedIn profiles. Now, it's working on a way to do it at mass, at bulk. But in this case, it does allow it uh, on a one by one. So for here, if we click the link that, that it found for us, let's see if it's identified the right person, VP plat, uh, platform sales, VP platform sales, share through. Yep, looks like it's the right person. So we're gonna, we're gonna clip or I guess zap as they now want it to be called this page by clicking on the new little logo that's come up on the left hand side, clip. And that's it. It is literally going to go through this entire page and it's going to get any details or all details that we've specifically found. Now, normally it'll actually combine the data with what you already have. In this case, because the names were a little bit different, uh, it in fact just added a, another contact here. Let's take a look at what it found us. All right, so got the name, company, various different titles location, uh, again with their LinkedIn, all their details, all their workplace experience, and a picture. Not too bad. Let's, uh, let's give it a try with uh, another one just to see kind of how it works. I'm going to pick on Ben Plummer. I'm going to look and see what it's, it's got in us, just a LinkedIn profile. Okay, it's not bad for doing no work. Let's see if it matched it right. It did. Let's try to clip this as soon as it loads up. Option comes to clip it, and there we go. It's going through it, clipping everything, and it identified, we actually have that on our list, obviously. So we combine the clip, done. There you go, original record, all the various details, even got all his uh, skills right there. A lot got the various descriptions. Now what's interesting is it only clipped the first part of some of these descriptions. It didn't get the whole bit. I'll, I might ping that to him as, a, as something they might want to change in the future, but not bad for just a kind of a one-click solution. Cool. So what else can we do with this? Well, actually a lot. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of those examples right now, what I really like. Let's take a look at, let's see if we have any technical, anyone technical on this list. Let's look at, uh, hmm. here we go, solutions engineer. It's about as technical as my list will allow. Now you could, now you could go the, now in this case it didn't find a LinkedIn. However, there's this option up here to cross reference across all these other platforms. So example, let's try it on GitHub. Let's see what we find. Nothing for him on GitHub. Let's see if we find it on Facebook. Found someone we think might be right. Uh, I'm not entirely sure this is correct. Uh, but just to demonstrate the purpose, we could actually clip a data right from Facebook page as well. And it's going to uh, alert us that it's going to be changing. It's actually scrolling through all the different parts of their profile work places he's lived, contact bio, and that's it. And it actually marries that information up into the actual individual record. Um, so you'll start seeing that into his record right over here if we view it. You can see it all I was able to get was his gender and his Facebook page. Um, now, what else could it do besides that? Some other really cool stuff. Let's take a look at one of these profiles that we, uh, we already messed around with. Say we have this person. Looks really good. What else can we do? Well, we can, uh, we can drop it. Now, in this case, you could drop it into a whole bunch of ATSs, into a clipboard, uh, into a record, into uh, frequent sites. However, what I want to show you, which I think is pretty novel, is two things, web link and PDF document. 
I'm going to click the PDF document, and there's a couple different options. Show my contact information. Uh, I'm going to leave that on. You'd probably want to turn that off. Allow viewers to provide feedback and comments. Include headshot if present. And I'm going to download it as a PDF. Right? Now, this is very cool. I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. It's actually taken this person's LinkedIn profile and made it into a much more attractive resume. Uh, you know, it actually has my contact details and phone number here. So I appreciate no late night texts. Uh, but then again, if you're unable to find that information on your own, you probably need a little bit more help in these videos. As well as a, uh, their LinkedIn, as well as a link to allow, presumably a hiring manager, to actually evaluate this candidate. You click through it, it looks a little bit like this. Uh, you can, they can click like, dislike, they can put a message, and this information will actually be forwarded right back to you. Um, another way to short circuit that process a little bit, instead of going through the whole resume, is you can actually tell it just to, just to give you a link, right? So I could drop it into a web link with those same sort of details attached. Um, I'm not quite sure what the link name aspect of it does. Let's try that again. And again, you could actually do this for, for more than one at a time if you wanted to. If you wanted to drop it, let's go back to one of these right here. Um, let's go into his profile. Drop it into a web link. Link name, I'm just not gonna do that. Let's just create the link. Um, link name, let's call it uh, Mary Kate resume. And if you wanted to hide it, maybe I wanna hide my contact details here. Uh, we're gonna create that link. It automatically does, copies it into your clipboard. And this is what it looks like when you send this link to someone. Basically, gives them their profile, uh, their resume and uh, allows them to rate this person by clicking on this yellow box right here, like or dislike. So very cool, not a lot of ATSs have or have this refined of a, of a feature or functionality that I think is really cool. Again, that's only a portion of what you could do using Zap Info or the new web clip drop, but they are really expanding upon the features on sort of a day-to-day -day basis, where you could get the data, where you could put the data, of course, um, you know, I've imported this information. What if I want to then export it out? I could export it. I could actually export it automatically into individual PDF files. So it'll create PDF files for all of them. You'll put them into a clipboard. Oh, I'd want to do that. And I could do a spreadsheet quick, which is what I'm going to do. Um, just to show you what that looks like, it creates a spreadsheet. And I'm going to open up on my computer. And look at what we got here an entire spreadsheet with all that data that we just imported and enriched, including a source URL, the date, the person, any, uh, actually, you know, let's expand upon all these just to show you what's going on here. Um, source URL, right? One, one it happened, full name, personal email, didn't get any phone numbers, uh, company, title, here you go. Uh, in this case, their LinkedIn URL, a summary when it was able to get it from their LinkedIn. Again, you know, going into each individual LinkedIn profile is a bit of a manual process. Their gender, their full name broken out for you, and any skills it was able to get, work experience, so on and so forth. Granted, you probably don't need all this, but it's a lot easier to reduce it um, than add it when it's not available. Some of these had actually got some other links they had on their profile. Clout, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. So highly recommend you guys check this out. Um, I will post a code for a free, I think it's a free 15 or 30 day trial. Um, I think it's great. It will probably be one of the very few applications that I actually pay for that I'd love to throw into my stack. Thanks guys.